All right, everyone. So we're picking up back on part 12. Thanks for uh, sticking with me up to this point. And we need to find a way out of here. Right now we are in this spore-infested uh, subway system here. And as always, I'm just going to take a look over here to see if I can find any supplies. I don't believe. No, there's nothing over here, so... We're just going to continue on. And Ellie's t able to breathe in the spores, no problem, obviously, because she's uh, immune to that mutation. So she doesn't have to worry about a gas mask or anything. And if Joel was doubting that she was immune for... Ex excuse me if I could talk. Oh my goodness. If Joel was doubting that she was immune uh, previously, he's not anymore. Especially now that he's seeing her breathe in the spores and she's just fine, so. Yeah, this place is kind of a maze trying to look for stuff. It's difficult to see in here. And there's a water section coming up. So, if you've been watching the whole playthrough in the beginning of the game... I can't swim. We'll figure something out. Okay, so Ellie can't swim, so we're going to have to find a platform for her so she doesn't drown. But no, what I was saying in the beginning of the game was basically these are the parts of the game that I don't care for at all. Because they're a huge waste of time. Basically, what's going to happen here is I'm going to have to go find a platform for Ellie and then she's going to hop on the flat a platform and I'm going to get her to where we need to go but it's just a long drawn out process man because you have to like swim out and you got to find the find the board and Ellie's over there she's on the left hand side of us over here she's going to be walking along this area I don't know where she is actually she should be over there where you at, Ellie? Ah, oh, there she is. So there's a small area over here where Ellie can walk. It'd be easier to teach her to swim than to do this garbage every time. Alright, so Joel can swim and dive and everything, so that's cool. I'm gonna cut through this area over here. Actually, it's not letting me go this way, so I'm gonna go back. Basically, I have to swim underneath all the wreckage. And then I need to find a platform for Ellie so she could... Stand on that. Yeah, these parts in the game just kind of ruin the pacing of it, in my opinion, because not a lot goes on. And I could understand if this is your first time playing that you probably wouldn't mind having a part like this, but they have these parts throughout the entire game, though, where you have to go fetch. Ellie? Fetch something for Ellie to walk on. And so basically, I'm going to swim over here. I can't see anything in here, by the way. But I'm going to swim over here, and I'm looking for a platform. Ah, oh, there it is. It's really hard to find in here, man. I have my flashlight on and I could barely see. Alright, so we need Ellie to jump on this board here. You don't. Ellie? Ellie. Okay. Be careful. I got you. And we're gonna 
take it over here. Alright, now I saw something over here. There's something over here flashing right there. But, you see that right there? Right next to that dead body. There's like a note there. Alright. I got it. Okay, so that's a note from a smuggler. I wonder if I go down this way if there's something down here. I need to go get some air. And once Joel gets his breath back, I'm gonna go down there one more time. See if I missed anything. Okay, so I got another Firefly Pendant, and I got some spare parts down here, so that wasn't a total waste. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. I don't think there's anything underneath the water. I don't believe so anyway. Like I said, I mean it's really difficult to see down here, so. All right, I'm just going to get out of here. Wasted enough time swimming around in this water. Come on, Joel, get up the ladder, dude. Let's go. Okay, this place is kind of creepy down here. And that's what's causing all the spores to come out right there. Whenever there's dead bodies like that, that's where all the spores come from. Here's how this thing's going to play out. You don't bring up Tess. Ever. Matter of fact, we just keep our histories to ourselves. Secondly, don't tell anybody about your condition. They think you're crazy they'll try to kill you. And lastly, you do what I say when I say it. We clear? Sure. Repeat it. What you say goes. Good. Uh, now there's a town a few miles north of here. There's a fella there that owes me some favors. Good chance he could get us a car. Okay. Let's get a move on.
I'm getting excited here. Yeah, Here's go. where the game starts, really. Yeah, it'll be We're going to go uh, up in this town and try to hook up with Joel's buddy and get that car. Man. So we could get on the road. Nothing, it's just... I've never seen anything like this, that's all. You mean the woods? Yeah. Never walked in the woods. It's kind of cool. <laughs> That's one of the great things about this game is just Joel is just so stubborn early on. Why'd she drop you off on us? Well, maybe she's better now. Kid, I don't mean to upset you, but your friend's chances of survival weren't too high to begin with. She's a lot tougher than you think. It don't matter. Because I doubt I can get either one of us back into the city in one piece. Trust me. I wish there were some other option. And there's some optional conversations that you could have with Ellie, and I try to get those whenever I see them, but I've probably already missed some optional conversations, who knows. And I'm just going to run up here because I think there's an item next to that storm drain right there. Oh, hey buddy. And I was so wrong. There's nothing over here. I think there's something over here if I do if I remember right. I mean just a matter of finding it. We're going to be out of this section here pretty shortly. All I have to do is go up that hill and then we'll uh get into the town of Lincoln. But Certain there's something I'm missing. Maybe it was this way. Well, that's not much. It's only like a half bottle of alcohol, but whatever that'll do. All right, uh, enough time uh, with this nature walk, so. Yeah, I mean, this part, not a lot's going on. I mean, essentially 12 minutes of it, we were swimming around in the sewer, and then we're, like, walking around in the woods. So, like I said, um, Naughty Dog could have taken these parts out of the game, and it wouldn't have taken anything away from the story. Oh, shit. Should we climb it? No. To me, I don't know, it's just a waste of time. Like this whole part is just essentially us walking around, doing a whole lot of nothing. And where is the ladder? I know there's a ladder over here somewhere. Oh, that's right, it's up here. Get up here, I'll get a look. Nope. Awesome. So essentially I found a pipe that is fitted with uh, scissors at the end. So this is a one-shot uh, weapon right here. If I get a hit on somebody, it'll kill them instantly. So... Where's the... Oh, there it is. I'm stupid. Alright, so I got the board, so we're going to be able to place the board across this gap. And of course, there's... A board the exact same size that we need to cross this gap, so our uh, good luck go. continues. Hey, you, Bill. Where 
do you usually meet him? Huh? Different places. You've never been here, have you? I know this is where he lives, but no, I ain't never been here personally. And that smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it out then. Right, come on. Alright guys, so that's part 12. Uh, not a lot happened in that part. Um, but once we get into Lincoln, we'll be running into some runners, some clickers, and all manner of stuff. So it's going to pick up here. And as always, uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned, and I'll be right back.